Just got to simulate a two-person interview. Hi Jason, thanks for coming. So editing with multiple cameras in DaVinci Resolve is quite easy, right? Yeah, once you learn the workflow, it is, and it's pretty easy to learn, to be honest. But what about editing with multiple cameras and also when you've got multiple tracks of audio to work with as well? Yeah, great question. Like at the minute, we've got three cameras recording this interview and we've both got our own microphones attached to us, which is gonna give us more audio tracks. Yeah, don't forget the Zoom recorder at the back there that's also recording a separate audio track that we might want to use for ambience so with all of these cameras and these microphones we might have six different audio tracks to work with in a multi-cam sequence. Yeah there's a few different ways we could handle editing this in DaVinci Resolve. If you want I'm happy to show you a couple of approaches. Yeah that sounds awesome let's fire up Resolve and then you can show us what you mean. The first of the two methods I'm going to show you is called the premix method. What you want to do is select all of the audio and video files, right click and choose create new multicam clip using selected clips. Give the multicam clip a name and then you want to choose how you're going to sync. If you've got time code set up properly you can use that. In this case we're going to use sound to try and match on the waveforms. I'm going to untick this just so we don't move things around in the bins. For the angle name I'm going to choose clip name. It's going to use the names of the clips in the bin and then hit create. And now up here you can see the multicam clip has been created for us. What we're going to do is right click on the multicam clip and choose open in timeline and then we'll just go close the media pool to give us some room. So here's our three video files from the three camera angles and here's the microphone from the interviewer, the microphone from me and also this track of audio from the zoom recorder that's kind of recording the ambience of the room. If you're recording outside in nature this could be an ambient track for birds and trees and all that kind of thing. We're going to switch over to the Fairlight page but don't let that put you off if you've never used Fairlight before. By the way, I've got an hour long introduction to Fairlight free course on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description. And this just shows us our audio tracks for the timeline we're working in. If we come back to the edit page, we're not actually gonna use the audio from the cameras. So if I select this first camera angle, this is the A7S III, this is the front angle. And you can see down here, we've got the corresponding audio. So the audio from the cameras in this example is gonna be considered scratch audio. It's just audio that we're gonna to use to line things up as we've done here. I'm gonna hold down Alt and left click on the audio and then hit D on the keyboard to disable that audio. I'm gonna do the same thing for the second camera angle and the same thing, Alt, click and hit D for the third camera angle. We still got the picture for each camera angle, but not the sound. That means we're left with these three audio tracks we can mix together. Let's head back to Fairlight. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do using this method is to set the basic levels for the tracks. You can do that by using the individual clip volume control here, or if you expand this across, you can use these faders. I'm not going to spend too much time on teaching you Fairlight because I've got that entire hour dedicated to it on my channel. But for example, you might want to solo this ambient track and play it back. And maybe you reduce the volume of that ambience. And then for the interviewer, you might want to make sure this is a mono track by right clicking on it, choosing change track type to mono. And the same thing for the microphone for the character I was playing. And for this zoom track, you can right click and make sure that it's set to stereo because ambience might have some kind of stereo information in the audio. So this audio track was the microphone from the interviewer in that sketch. And then for example, we could pan the interviewer's lav mic or microphone over to the left of the stereo side and the microphone for me or Jason or my character. We could pan that over to the right if we wanted to, to get some separation. We might want to increase the volumes of some of these microphones depending on how loud or quiet they are. When the interviewer is talking, we might want to reduce the sound of the second microphone. So I'm using this tool here. This is the focus mode tool. And then I'm just gonna drag this line down to make that side quieter and vice versa. When the Jason track is talking, we might wanna reduce the volume of the interviewer's microphone. You could also, of course, go and add compression and EQ. So you can play this back to check everything sounds how you want it to. And once you're happy with everything, come back to the edit page and then right click down here and choose add angle. And if you've got stereo tracks, you're going to want to add a stereo angle. But if all you've got is mono tracks, you can choose mono. In this case, we do have a stereo track. That's the ambient sounds from the zoom recorder. So we're going to choose stereo. And if we just expand this down, we can give this angle a name. I'm going to call this new angle premix. Now head back to Fairlight, come up to the timeline menu and choose bounce mix to track. From this drop down here, select the new premix angle that we just created and then click OK. What this is going to do is it's going to effectively render the video, but just the audio part of the video. And it's going to create a new WAV file for the audio in the sequence, which you can see down here. This includes all of these little edits that we've made. Head back to the edit page and now we can go and make use of this multicam clip. What we're going to do is come back to the media pool. We're going to right click on the multicam clip and choose create new timeline. We'll call this demo one main and hit create. Close the media pool 
make sure this view is set to Multicam. And now you can see the three different angles we've got, including this premix audio angle. Right click on the audio part of this multicam clip and choose switch multicam clip angle to premix. And then make sure you click this button here so that when we change the angles, it's only changing the picture and not the audio track. Now we can just go and edit with the multicam sequence as we ordinarily would. Notice how I'm switching between the camera angles here, but we're only switching picture and not the sound. And this sound is the rendered premixed sound from the multicam clip. For the second technique, we're gonna only select the cameras and not the separate audio files. And then we're gonna go and create the multicam clip just from the video files from the cameras. And if we open up this multicam clip in the timeline, we've got our three cameras and their associated audio. We'll go back to the media pool and we'll right click on this multicam clip that we just created and then create a regular timeline from it. And once again, we've got our multicam clip, but this one doesn't have the individual audio files in. Now we've got the basic multicam clip. What we're going to do is we're going to add in these extra audio files. The first one for the interviewer's microphone and the second one for my microphone. And also the third one, I'm just gonna drag down here. This will create a new audio track for us. We're gonna change these both to mono because they're just mono microphones for the interviewer and for me. And then we're going to align these three separate audio tracks to this multicam clip. One way to do that is to select them all, right click and choose auto align clips, and then come across and choose based on waveform. And now when we click on this, Resolve is gonna try and automatically align all of those audio files with the video files. Sometimes this doesn't work. I'm not sure why, because the audio is in there. Hopefully this bug will be fixed in a future version of Resolve. Just gonna close the media pool. And if you've done a clap sync, you can use the claps to line it up, or perhaps you've used the slate. You can use those things to visually or audibly line things up. So what we want to do is we want to line everything up against this audio track from the multicam clip. As you can see in the video here, I'm doing a clap sync because I didn't have a slate. That's the first one. Now all three of these tracks are lined up. For the ambience here, this doesn't actually directly line up to the clap sync. You could of course line it up exactly if that's what you want. Now you can go and mute the audio track related to this multicam clip because we're not gonna be using the audio from this. This is one of the camera's audios. We're gonna instead be mixing all of these three things together. You can either do that in the edit page or you can switch over to the Fairlight page to get more control. And also in the Fairlight page, you can do your final audio mix in terms of compression and EQ and panning. I think I might start wearing these in all of my videos. Thanks for watching, hope you find that useful. Check out this video next to learn even more about working with multicam clips in DaVinci Resolve. I'm Jason Roberts, please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.